be done falling, those winds are going to be knocking it around pretty good with the stuff that's on the surface. And again, the winds will subside a little bit towards uh, the evening hours, but not by much. Still about 30 miles per hour as we head towards the second half of Friday. So that's why we're looking at wind chills in your four zone forecast. This is how it's going to feel tomorrow afternoon. Typically our warmest part of the day. Wind chill seven in Detroit, four for an official wind chill there. Uh, all single digits you can see in the south zone, it's between one and five. Getting close to zero in some spots here in the west zone maybe touching that in Fenton and we're going to be on the other side of zero in a couple spots in the north zone at least for about an hour or two and again those are wind chills as we finish out tomorrow and of course it gets colder beyond that but the winds will subside as well winter weather advisory is in effect for us until 4 a.m tomorrow those winter storm warnings if you're traveling to the west part of the state those pink shaded counties 6 to 11 inches of snow 45 mile per hour winds they're expecting possible power outages over there in near blizzard conditions so uh, maybe rethink that if you are trying to go over in that direction still looking Looking at flood warnings there from Port Huron to Algonac along the St. Clair River as they're still battling ice jams, so we'll keep on top of that. And our next chance of snow just around the corner, other than some lake effect stuff that'll uh, float in here late Friday into early Saturday, you can see that next little burst of snow is going to be Saturday night into Sunday. That should be less than an inch because it's going to be pretty quick moving. That system may produce a little bit more snow, but there's still some question as to when it's going to show up and uh, exactly where. 22 tonight, that'll be our overnight low. That'll also be our high temperature tomorrow when we get started at 8 a.m. And you can see those temperatures really going nowhere tomorrow. Although most of the day will be dry, it is going to be bitterly cold with those wind chills. And then we start watching the temperatures drop into next week, guys. Single digit lows. We've inched those up a little bit with additional cloud cover, but I don't know if that helps. It is still by far the <laughs> coldest day we've seen all season. Yeah. 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 Okay, Ben, thank you.